guys, in this video we're going to work through some multiple choice questions on amount of substance together. So this first question, I'm going to read it to you. It says, a brand of fluoride tablets recommended by a dentist to strengthen the enamel on teeth contains 2.2 times 10 to the minus 3 sodium fluoride per tablet. The total mass of fluoride ions present in 100 tablets is... Now the first thing we should do with something like this is maybe read the question again carefully, perhaps highlight or underline any numbers or key information. And that helps us decide what to do first. So the first logical step would be to calculate the molar mass of this sodium fluoride using the periodic table. And you should get 42. The next thing I'm going to do, since it wants just fluoride by itself, I'm going to divide this amount by the molar mass of sodium fluoride. Because I want to get rid of the sodium and I'm just interested in the fluorine. So I came out with this number. Then I'm going to scale it up. So I'm going to times it by the mass number from the periodic table of the fluorine. And it's asking about the mass of fluoride in 100 tablets. So I'm going to times it again by 100. And here we get the mass of fluorine in 100 tablets. Now if you look at the answers for each of the multiple choice answers, we'll see that what we've done here matches with this. And we can double check that on our calculators and it will come out with the same answer. So the next question, it's a percentage composition question. It says when titanium tetrachloride is reduced with hydrogen under certain conditions, a new compound is produced which contains 68.9% chlorine by mass. Which one of the following could be the formula of the new compound? The first thing we should do is to calculate the molar mass of each of those compounds. So pause the video here and have a go at calculating the molar mass for each of those. Now you should have got numbers similar to those. It will depend slightly on if you've rounded your mass numbers from the periodic table, but they should be very close to those numbers. The next thing you're going to do, you're going to do the chlorine, the amount of chlorines over this number then times by 100 to get the percentage by mass. So here we've got two chlorines, so that's going to be 2 times 35.5 divided by molar mass of the whole compound times 100. And we're going to do the same for all of these. And let's work those out. So there are the answers. I've rounded my percentages to two significant figures. And if we look at the question, it says a new compound is produced which contains 68.9% chlorine by mass. So the correct answer is D. Because that is the closest to 68.9. This next question is the ideal gas equation because we've got an amount of gas that's not at room temperature and pressure and we're given a volume as well and it's asking us to calculate pressure so we're going to use the ideal gas equation and rearrange for pressure so P equals nRT divided by V and we're going to calculate moles by doing mass over molar mass using the periodic table what I'd like to do is pause the video here and have a go at plugging in the numbers. See what you get for pressure for each of these. So these are the answers you should have come out with. And it says which one is at the highest pressure. So that would be the first one, helium, 3,325.6 pascals. Then lastly, number 13, which of the following compounds contains the smallest percentage by mass of oxygen? So this is just like this one with the chlorine. First thing we're going to do is work out the molar mass of the whole compound. 
and then do the mass of the oxygen divided by the mass of the compound times 100. So you should have come out with answers or working like this. Then we're going to finish this off. So the last one, 37% that comes to, and they're all quite similar figures. So we can see that the one with the smallest percentage by mass is this one, B. So this next one says, which of the following contains the smallest number of moles of carbon dioxide gas? And in the first one, we're just given a mass. So that's a straightforward mass over molar mass to work out the moles. And we get 0 0.0602. And the rest of them, we have a pressure, a temperature and a volume. So that's the ideal gas equation. And we need to rearrange that in terms of N to calculate moles and make sure our units are in SI units. So that's meters cubed for volumes, Kelvin for temperature and pascals for pressure. So we have to times these kilopascals by a thousand to convert those. And we end up with this one, B, being the smallest number of moles of gas. The next one, it says a saturated solution of magnesium hydroxide contains 0 0.1166 grams of magnesium hydroxide in 10 decimeters cubed of solution. In this solution, the magnesium hydroxide is fully dissociated. Which one of the following is the concentration of magnesium ions in the solution? There's a couple of ways you can work this out. Um, it's quite a tricky one. So first of all, I've written down some bits from the question while I was thinking about what to do first. So we're given a mass per 10 decimeters cubed. This is in 10 decimeters cubed. Then the first thing I did is convert that into a mass per decimeters cubed. And that is a unit of concentration. And to get from grams per decimeter cubed to moles per decimeter cubed, which is what the units of concentration in the answers are in, we divide by the MR. So I've divided my mass per one decimeter cubed, divided it by the molar mass of magnesium hydroxide. And there's only one lot of magnesium in this formula unit, one lot of magnesium, two lots of hydroxide. So we leave it like that. And the answer comes out with 2 times 10 to the minus 4. So the answer to this one is D. Next one, a particular sample of iron ore contains 85% by mass of iron oxide. So that's Fe3 plus Fe2 O3 and no other iron compound. The maximum mass of iron that could be extracted from one ton of this ore is... Now, there's several ways you can get to the answer. If you've used a different method, feel free to post that in the comments below. Someone else might find that helpful. The way I've done it, after a little bit of scribbling out, you can see I've used a Tipex um, mouse there. The first thing I did was 85% of one ton. Because it says 85% by mass and we're extracting from one ton. And I came out with a mass in grams. The next thing I did is talking about a maximum mass of iron from this compound. And we've got two lots of iron in this formula unit, Fe2. So I looked for iron on the periodic table times the big number by 2 because of the Fe2 in the formula and divided that by the MR from the question. And I got an amount in grams. Now these answers here are all in tons. So to convert grams back to tons, we divide by a million. And the answer is a 0.59 tons. So if you did something different to get that answer, feel free to post how you did that in the comments below. And the last question, it says sodium hydrogen carbonate decomposes on heating as shown by the equation below. The volume of carbon dioxide measured at 298 Kelvin and 101 kilopascals obtained by heating 0.05 moles of sodium hydrogen carbonate is. 
So we're given moles of sodium hydrogen carbonate and we've got a balanced equation for a reason. The question's asking about carbon dioxide. Notice it's a two to one ratio. So straight away, we need to divide our moles of sodium hydrogen carbonate by two to get moles of carbon dioxide. And we're given temperature and pressure. We have moles as well. And it's asking us about volume. So that is the ideal gas equation. We plug our numbers into the equation, converting our pressure into pascals, because that's the SI unit for the ideal gas equation. And we come out with a volume in meters cubed. So I converted that into decimeters cubed. Doesn't match this, so C can't be the right answer. And then I converted it into centimetres cubed and that matches with A. Now it's not B or D. If you got either of those answers, that would have been you forgot to divide the moles by 2 to get the carbon dioxide. So if you left the moles at 0 0.05, you'd come out with um, one of those two, B or D. I hope that was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe. Thank you.